Hey guys, and welcome back to Blue Stinger. When we last left off, we managed to replace all of the cables and get power back um, to the facility. However, power is now draining at an alarming rate, apparently. So we have to go fiddle with some uh, consoles, which, what could possibly go wrong? Ah, yes, we also got a zappy stick. A big, beautiful, blue zappy stick, which uh, pleases me greatly. Right, uh, Elliot, why are you failing to go upstairs? It's really, really honestly, my dude, not that difficult. There we go. I learnt to climb stairs when I was probably too young to climb stairs, which is probably why I have a such an attractive face. Um, now, um, righty, so we were going to fiddle with one of these, weren't we? Not that one, though, apparently. Here we go. Power system is engaging. The power supply is restricted to power plant okay. area. Power system is achieving maximum Good. output. Supplier unit is now activated. Output OVA. Electric system power is declining. Hmm. The power is maxed and the light's still not on. Where's the juice? Let me check the source. It's on the third floor. Well, what could possibly go wrong, guys? I'm guessing some big, ugly, nasty bastard is drinking the juice. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, I remember this. This is, like, almost certain death. Uh-oh. Fuck right off, little glowy bug bastard. Warning, danger zone. Yeah. A dangerous danger zone. Ooh, hello. Yeah, life hooks. I remember these. So, if we fall off uh, and go down the hall, that's instant death. Uh, that will result in pretty much a straight game over. However, if we have a life hook, then we will not result in an instant game over. Which is good, you know. But uh, each life hook can only be used once, which is a bit of a poop, but that's okay. Uh, I believe we can buy more here. Yeah, they're, they are expensive. And we're going to try not to be a dribbling smooth brain and fall off the edge. But, you know, there are no guarantees in life. Let's just say that. Right, let's give it a save. And uh, continue. Yeah, we'll, we'll try not to be a, a, a retard and fall off the edge. Now, this was the ammo salesman, wasn't it? Yeah. I just spent nearly a grand on just some fairly mediocre weaponry, which, uh, you know, maybe we could have done without, but hey ho diddly do. Uh, let's change up our weapons. Let's go for, let's just get the handgun out, to be honest. We don't have a lot of handgun, to be honest. Yeah, four magazines. Oof. But, it's kind of good at killing those bugs, I guess. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think the bug is dead. And now we've got to wait for the son of a bitch to come back up. Come on, you bastard. I think every time we shoot it, it falls down. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. It's kind of annoying. I have a horrible feeling. There's going to be tons of these things sucking up the juice. So, in that regard, it might actually be just like a better idea to just run through. Sure, why not? No point arsing around. Oh my god, they're everywhere though. They take three rounds to put down. It's not actually that bad. And I really wish we could reload. <laughs> just like running around with one. Oh god. Let's soften the smooth brain up. Oh god, he's whipping our ass. But we don't mind this guy. Um, something is... Is something going on with this controller? Maybe. Actually. Yeah. Something is actually going on with this controller. Because it, like, keeps disconnecting. 
This is my brand new controller, I might add. That was... Okay, that was odd. Now it has an obscenely long cable. Ooh. I hope we haven't developed a fracture in the cable. Or... Is it the VMU that's actually on the fritz? Um, one second, guys. Okay, hopefully it's okay now. I think the VMU had just slightly come out, but I guess we will find out. Right, I kind of hope this controller is not dead because it was expensive. Too expensive for what it is to be 100% honest. No, 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 that's maybe unjust. It is an amazing control pad, uh, but 50 quid? Really? Yeah, I don't know, folks. It is the best Dreamcast control pad out there. Uh, I think that's fair to say, by a huge margin. In fact, one of the nicest control pads out there, full stop. But, yeah, it's, it's a lot of money. Okay. I thought something weird was going on. Now, that's... Ah, oh, great. You know, that's fine. I don't like the way those bugs just drop right down. It looks like, see you later, fucker. Whoa, box of railgun ammo. Not bad. Really, not bad at all. We'll have that. Alright, what's sucking the juice? Ooh. Uh. Not quite sure what Elliot was having a mini freak out about there. Ah, hello. Can anyone say boss encounter coming? Ooh. Oh, the Omega Club key. Right, I get... Like, is that a hidden item? Can we miss that? I'm going to say probably. Uh, we don't really need any health items. I'm going to try and save as much health and ammo for, you know, all the stuff that we really want to buy, like the big weapons and the big guns and stuff. We'll download the map because, sure. And we will save the game. And see if this VMU... Yes, okay, Elliot, we don't care about the map. We want to see if the actual VMU's okay. Uh, I guess so. Right, I think we're okay. Cool. That was a bit scary there, guys. Um, the Dreamcast is not a cheap system to keep... Ooh. Ooh. Ah, I remember. Yeah, these big dragonfly motherfuckers. I think we need something that's a little bit higher caliber, like the shotgun. I mean, as we've ascertained... Oh, God. The shotgun isn't fantastic. Oh, God. <laughs> I like the way he just bowls over. Just rolls over. It's like, good night, folks. Here, buddy. Have that to remember me by. All right. Not bad. Not bad. I did think that was going to be worse than it was. Oh, for God's sakes. Does that actually kill it? I don't know. God knows. They just kind of like lose all power and fall to their deaths. Really? Come on. There we go. Oh, okay. I think the problem with the shotgun is essentially it's the handgun it just fires uh, a lot of shots so if like the entire burst hits the target it does a fairly respectable amount of damage but if an entire burst does not hit the target the damage for the individual pellets is pretty mediocre uh let's have some health let's go for a couple of small hassies because might as well drink up some of these bad boys yeah, a couple of those should uh, should sort our problem out. Right, let's pound down another one. Get it in me. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. 
Right, where's this fly boy? There he is. If we could actually look at the target, that would be great. Really? Okay, hit, miss, hit, miss. Oh god, we're out of ammo. Actually, these things probably will go down fairly easy. With the uh, stun, uh, stun baton, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, because they are quite chunky boys, to be honest with you. Right, uh, before I have a look around, let's, before we go through that door, let's have a look around. It doesn't look like there's any goodies here. This displeases Elliot greatly. Oh, God. Yeah, listen to them. They actually sound robotic. Oh, God. Look at that guy. He's just, like, munching on some dude's face. Oh, I think this guy actually has something for us. Oh, man. Uh, buddy? Cheers. The monster was holding a plant area card. Well, I don't think the monster was holding the card. I think the guy there was actually holding it. I find it so weird that most of the time when you find a card, the room that you need to use it in is, is you know, pretty close by. But then I suppose you could say that might be good game design. That's pretty grim. These things are pretty fucking disgusting. But that's okay. We're here to dispense justice. One swing of the peacemaker at a time. Yep, we ain't going nowhere. And we haven't fallen to our... Oh. You don't have the card key to enter. Well, that's a kick in the knickers. Uh, have we really missed... We missed a room out somewhere. We must have. Ass cakes. Big, juicy, sweaty ass cakes. Yeah, we must have uh, missed a room somewhere then. Okay. Well, let's have a look on the map, see if there's anything obvious that we've missed. Um. I guess the only thing there that we've missed. Hmm. Can't be anything there then. Because the only thing we've missed, I think, is the big room that we can't get into. Let's just go check. If not, I will uh, run around and try and find it. Uh, map. No. Right. Hang on, so according to this, we've been in these rooms. How come we've already been in that room? Which we kind of obviously haven't. Okay. So we've missed a corpse somewhere. Oh, hang on, that's open. I'm just being stupid. Because that's kind of my MO, really. Um, yeah, this is the door that we can't get into. You don't have the card key to enter, and it doesn't actually tell us what card key we need. No, it just says something danger. Bollocks. Okay. Hmm. I'm guessing it's not going to be somewhere that's, like, really obvious. It's not going to be like, oh, hey, yo, this, like, random... Fresh dribbling corpse has a car. Oh, did we go through there before? Yeah, I guess we must have gone through there. Because, you know, it's like the only door there. So, logic would say that uh, that's the one we need to go through. Um, you know, I'm quite good with doors. I have mastered how they operate. There are several types of door. Some are magical and open with the push of a button. Some require power via uh, twisting a knob. 
Some require keys. They're the special doors. Some require key cards. Some require passwords. Some just, goddamn, don't want to open. Yes, we've seen a lot of doors in this in this business. So, I, I mean, maybe the key card is here. Maybe it's somewhere. Because we found like an ATM on this dude, but there's no. Oh, wait a minute. On a, ah, hang on. We've got the key. Now, there's no way we have to go back to the Omega Strip Club. There's no way we have to do that. Before. No, surely not. Because that's a long bloody way back. I don't need to tell you. That is a freaking long way back. Oh, you son of a bitch. Do you have anything? I guess you don't. And you are starting to piss me off, pal. No, you don't have nothing, mate. Ah, bollocks. Well, that really has thrown a wrench in the works. I'm not gonna lie. This was a barrier. Oh, barrier to entry that I was not expecting. Can we just hit the guy with the zappy thing, please? Good enough. One does not simply pass up the opportunity to extract money painfully from these things. They are too much of a rich bounty to pass up. Um, right. Uh, I guess... We've missed something then. Maybe in one of these rooms. Maybe. Oh, God. Really? Oh, you son of a... Wow, they look like little, like, freaking eyeballs or some shit. Um, possibly a keycard here somewhere, maybe. I mean, I kind of doubt it, but you never know. Really? My god. How useless is that shotgun? How... Come on. Come on, Elliot. Come on. Elliot, please. Please stop being so useless. Thank you. Oof, Elliot, you struggled. Are we going to struggle here as well? I think we are. Yeah, we're going to struggle. Well, I mean, we hit it. So, that's something. We hit it again, which is something, I suppose. Right, let's go for our items, food. Small hassy. Let's chuck this motherfucker back. Because no doubt we are injured. Uh, right, bear with me guys. I'm going to run around and try and find this thing. Right, okay guys, so we missed a room apparently. The administration room in the Y section, which, yep, I guess I totally mix that. So we've got shotgun shells. And we can get on top of the table for reasons best left to Elliot's own devices and a ah yeah. there we go son of a bitch yeah we actually totally missed this room out son of a bitch okay guys i'll catch you back outside the condenser room hey guys right we're back okay so after that journey back because uh i was stupid and forgot the condenser key we return let's have a little look inside this room shall we what could possibly be wrong well we've got the boss music oh this monster was sucking up all the juice well that's something you don't see every day we've got to get rid of them uh yeah uh i guess we do have to get rid of them and how would you suggest doing that elliot uh, well, I guess they're going to recommend using the handgun. Yeah. <laughs> handgun and the bowgun. Yeah, uh, I don't think the handgun and the bowgun is going to really do that much for us, to be honest. Hmm. They look like those weird lightning eye things. That's not great. I hate those things. 
Oh, right. Uh, can we not? Okay, I guess we can't go up there. How do we? Ah, right. Right, 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 right. Got, got ya. Got ya. Can we? Oh, God. These things hurt. Oh, my God. These hurt. Guys, if I could please just... There we go. Ah, jeez. Okay. I guess there's still more. Okay, so they're not exactly the same as those weird green eyeballs. But they're bad enough. Gee, this is uh, kind of irritating. There's another one down. I kind of like the way they have to go and recharge. It's interesting. I'll give the game that. Although, if there's a better way than just... Hang on. Oh, God. Uh, Elliot. 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 Hang on, brother. Hang on, brother. Uh, shit. We need food. Let's go for a large. This man's got quite the thirst. And then we're going to pound down another one straight away. Hopefully we're going to have time to actually consume it. Before these things come back. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's a decent-ish amount of health. Oh, God. Okay. We couldn't actually get up on, on that, then. Uh, game. Game. Can we stop being... Uh, he doesn't attach to these stairs like he does in the other games. Or the other stairs, I should say. Right, here they come. Uh, Elliot, you're not even looking at them. Okay, this is maybe a bad idea. Okay, that was a bad idea. Right. Uh, let's change to dogs. And let's go for the Gatling gun. Let's see how they like some of this. Right, gloves are off now, you bastards. Um... There we go. Okay, that doesn't really work as well as I thought. In fact, it doesn't really do an awful lot at all, to be honest. I think we've got a couple more of them down. Yeah. I don't know how we're meant to aim at these things, to be honest. Yeah, it's not happening. Oh, okay, that is uh, way more annoying than I thought. Let's go for the rail gun because maybe we need something with a bit more punch. Let's also go for some food. Let's chug down a large hassie. Come on, dogs. Time is of the essence, me buddy. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. One left. Wait for him to fly in front of us and give him some of that. Yeah, the railgun was where it's at, I guess. We got the light. We got. Dogs, let's the get out light. of here. Something's wrong. How do you wait? Wait, what? Why? What's wrong? We got the light, didn't we? What could possibly be wrong? Um. Now, before we get out of here. Let's just make absolutely certain that we haven't left any goodies around. Because you know me, guys. I like my goodies. I guess we can't go up and around there. Yeah, the railgun's quite, like, a, a meaty... Um, Mid-tier weapon, I suppose. It's not really, like, a, an ultra-high-end weapon. Ooh. Ooh, hello. I did not know we could come up here. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, the railgun's like a meaty mid-tier weapon. It he kind of gets um, made obsolete later on. But, you know, it's okay. Minigun is disappointing. Uh. Janine, come in. Over. Looks like we're getting some interference. Well, that's not good. We're going back. I think she's in trouble. You think? 
or maybe there's a hell of a lot of electrical interference. Right, let's get dogs topped up. Uh, yeah, let's get both of these guys topped up, to be honest. We need to... Man, it's a good thing we've got these large hassies. Now, we could have just, like, you know, bought all of these large hassies, but there's no point. This game's not particularly hard. The only thing that would have changed is... Oops. I would have had to have grind out uh, a lot more money for healing items. But, you know. I'm glad, in a way, that I don't have to do that. Okay, so he's... Yeah, you know, let's just roll with Elliot. It would be nice to bring dogs out for a bit of action, but... He's just too slow, man. Too, way too slow. Kind of uh, pisses you off, flaying at him. Oh, well... It doesn't really piss you off because he's a cool character. But it's, you know, if you can move in a video game, you always want to be moving it as fast as you can. At least that's my perspective anyway, especially when you're on the clock. I'm always on the clock. Milados and ladies. What would you say? Milados, ladios. Ladios doesn't make any sense. Although, I'm not even sure if there's many ladios that watch. I have no idea. I think my uh, audience demographic is something like 98... No. I think it's 93% male. Which, you know, is what it is. Okay. Ah. I was waiting for you. You bastard. Why am I wasting shotgun shells on you when I have a perfectly good stun rod? Exactly, that's what I thought. Give me your money. Don't make me shake it out of you. Oh wait, we kind of did. Never mind. Money. Is there one thing better? If there is one thing better than money in this game, it's ammo. And free swords of unimaginable power. So we're actually done in the power plant now. We can get out of here. Which is good. I vaguely remember uh, the power plant being a much bigger, more complicated section, to be honest. Kind of uh, how I always remember the lab in Resident Evil 2. I always remember it being this uh, big, challenging area when it really isn't, you know? Right, let's get out of here. Now, are we going to have to fight a crab monster? We are. I thought we did. Yeah, this one's like poisoned or some shit. Let's change up to dogs. Yep. Oh, God. Yeah, he's got a hell of a reach with that like weird ooze that he spits out. And you can see just how much damage it does as well. Right. Oh, God, yeah, really difficult to get away from that stuff. Yeah, uh, and again, the biggest enemy you're going to have here is the, yeah, is the camera angle. The camera angle just sucks. So much testicles. Uh, dogs, do we actually have? Yeah, we've got nothing for dogs' launcher. But we've got plenty for Elliot's. The only trouble with Elliot's... Yeah, we're just... Okay. Come on. Right, let's change before we get killed. The only problem with Elliot, of course, using his launcher is obviously it's got a wind-up. And it's the wind-up that... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so with Elliot, we can actually like run around him a little bit better. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it's definitely a little bit easier. Let's try the bazooka. So, this is the state-of-the-art semi-automatic rocket launcher that uses box magazines holding up to five 80mm tandem rockets. Yeah, it's not as juicy as Dogs' rocket launcher, but it's juicy. And we're going to use it. And look at the rather complicated ejection system when it fires a rocket and uh, ejects the shell out the back. I really like that. The monster was holding something. You found car key. Uh, well, it's not that car key, is it? I can't 
kind of hope not. So we've got one round left. And of course we have the Hellfire launcher as well, which I guess we probably could have used. Let's have a little look at this motherfucker. Ugh. Yeah, that's nasty. This is poison as well, which ain't no no joke. Uh, definitely don't want a dose of that. Just ask Richard how it went for him. Okay, let's suck down some of these more hassies. Yes, some of these more hassies. Yes, I know English. Now, Dogs is in a really bad way, so might be, gotcha. might be worth healing him up just a little bit. Man, we're really pounding down these large hassies. Look at Dogs. Dogs is almost killed. Oof. That's bad. Unfortunately, uh, why do I keep going to weapon? Unfortunately, Dogs is just too slow to be very effective in that fight. And the Gatling gun, it's it's fairly good against uh, well, at holding back the you know, the smaller, weaker enemies. But it's no good whatsoever against the big guys. It really isn't. Just, it's such a pitiful weapon, and that's a shame. You know, because it's a freaking Gatling gun. It should shred everything. But unfortunately, it just doesn't. Right, let's get out of here. But we have got some bank cards. Which is nice. Hey, friend. Yep, the Gatling gun's like great against these guys. I, I'm pretty sure that it is literally just the handgun. But automatic. Kind of the way Resident Evil dealt um, automatic weapons damage. Which is something that always kind of bothered me. I know they do it for balancing reasons. But why a automatic rifle is, you know, in some cases less power per round to a 9mm handgun? Uh, man, I don't know. I never was a huge fan of that idea. Because, you know, a rifle is freaking powerful, man. Whether it's a... Uh, oh, god damn it. We're just getting hammered here. Yeah, whether it's a NATO or a, you know, 7.62. They're powerful weapons. They really are. Right, anyway, guys, we're actually out of time. So, I'm going to save it here. And when we come back, we're going to go back and see what the hell is going on with Janine. See how much money we made there. Gotcha. How much money did we make? Okay, well, <laughs> we're on exactly six grand, which isn't too bad. Yeah, you, it's interesting. You don't actually get money for defeating the big mo uh, bosses, which I always thought was strange. It would have been nice to get some kind of payout, but I suppose you can unlimit... Well, farm money in unlimited quantities anyway. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time. <laughs>